Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. All right, so say goodbye to the tower. I kind of want to try that one out, but I don't think we're going to go that big. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh, oh. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and yes folks, I told you guys, we were coming back when the new update came out, and it is here, it is in the test branch, and it is the explosive update. So, you can see behind me here, we actually have explosive canisters in Scrap Mechanic, and I'm super excited about this, because you guys know that I like to blow stuff up. So this is right up my alley. Uh, we're going to be testing this out here today. I've got several tests that I want to do. I've got buildings I want to blow up. I've got possible trains I want to blow up. Uh, it's going to be probably a very good time here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go boom and uh, oh, oh, wait. Okay, that blows up. Well, that concluded my first test. I wanted to see what materials it couldn't blow up, so it can blow up everything. Yes! All right, well, we're just going to jump right into this. If you guys have any things you want to see with the new explosives, any ideas, let me know down in the comments section below. And if you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. Let's do this. Okay, let me confirm what I just saw. So it doesn't just blow up cardboard and glass like I thought it might. So let's go boom. Okay. All right. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. I love that. Okay. Actually, you can see the uh, little pieces on fire. That's uh, it's really cool. So I'm assuming let's go a full 16 by 16 here and let's go down here. I'm assuming the smaller canisters, a uh, smaller explosion, the bigger ones, a bigger explosion. We're going to run a control test. So we'll do right in the corner of each of these. There we go. All right. So let's go small canister 16 by 16. Ready, boom, okay, and then big canister, and okay, so there you go, that does actually make a difference. Jeez, we're going to crash the game here today, <laughs> I just not thought about that. Alright, so explosive canisters, what do they do besides blow up? Well, they don't do anything at the moment. I was curious if they were going to be able to be wired up, maybe on like timers, and no. So the only way I can think of doing some sort of timing mechanism would be like having a maybe a mounted gun on a timer to shoot, which I think you can do that. So you would shoot off and then blow up the canisters. I was kind of hoping to be able to attach like a timer or even a switch to them and make like TNT, but as far as I can tell, you can't do that. Now, whether or not that's going to be a future feature, I'm not really sure. But yeah, no, it's just a... Uh, just the basic canisters here. Here, let's go ahead and let's get a line of them. And let's try to create a big explosion. So, I really don't know what the limit is. Like, I don't know how optimized this is going to be. Uh, let's go ahead and get... Okay, that's quite a few explosions there. Like, I'm trying to figure out at what point are we going to crash the game today. So, let's go boom. Oh, boy. Oh, that was good. Okay, there was a little bit of a hitch there. It was a small hitch. Hmm. <laughs> Can I do my next plan is the question. Okay, I got a plan here. Uh, give me just a second. All right, so in my one of my spud gun destruction videos, uh, I think it was the laser cannon, we cut this tower in half. And now I'm thinking that, well, we could probably blow this thing up. So let's go ahead and get our weld tool out here. We're going to do some tower survival in a scrap mechanic, which is a little odd. You know, it's going to be really odd once they do add like some sort of health system. Like, you could legit do tower survival. That could be come I guess a challenge now I don't know how multiplayer handles this I have not tested that out yet so I don't know what the limit is as far as explosions uh, it might be a big limit it might be a small limit I'm not really sure it's gonna put this here all right so we got our tower all welded down I'm tempted to just spam these explosives all over it I guess we can take it out here huh? let's go boom let's just surround this thing and knock it off its base now, one good thing that I'm noticing about these, uh, it doesn't look like it sheds a lot of debris. And when I say, yes, you see the little blocks coming off, but they burn up, which is good because it doesn't leave a bunch of little bitty blocks all over the map uh, because Scrap Mechanic is still not the most optimized game. So that's something you don't want to have to deal with. All right, here we go. One there and we'll stick one here. Can we stack? Okay, we can stack these. 
Oh boy, okay, let's stand back. <laughs> a little nervous about this. I think it's just gonna go straight down. I'm kind of curious if it's gonna fling it. Like, once it becomes loose, does the explosion actually fling stuff? So, here we go. Boom! Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh! <laughs> Wait, what? Huh? Wait a minute. Oh, never mind. It blew off a whole floor. The doorway was down there. Oh. How did that thing balance? Okay, so these do actually fling. So if I were to go boom. Okay, let's hit it there. Oh, that was even better. Holy man. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh. oh, there it goes. Oh, it's going to lag when it hits. It's going to lag when it hits. Uh Oh. Oh, boy. Okay. Do they explode on impact? That's a good question. Actually, look at this. It did fling some debris. Huh. That's a bit concerning, actually. <laughs> uh, you can end up with a lot of debris once you start to really blow some stuff up. So, can we activate it? Obviously, by spud gun, can we hit them? You would think that this would be a thing, too. Hold on. Uh. Yep, it is. Oh, jeez. Uh, back up. Woo. Huh. Huh. Hmm. I feel like I want to blow this thing up and maybe try to crash the game. Alright, we got another experiment. Can force actually break this? Obviously the hammer can break it, but say running into it at a uh, maybe a high rate of speed. This is my terrible ATV from one of the Multiplayer Monday episodes. Uh, here we go. Uh, uh. Oh, oh, that worked! Oh no! Oh. <laughs> ah! Where am I? Oh. That was amazing! My ATV's in a thousand pieces. Oh, folks. We could wire the town to explode. Would that be weird? That would probably crash the game. It would have to. We could blow up the old town. Oh, that might be something we have to do in the future. Alright, so ATV's completely gone. A couple pieces there. I'm so happy that that actually blows up everything. So... You could do like a minefield race. You could do just tons of stuff with the explosions. All right, I feel like we need to actually get to the top of one of these towers and blow it up. Better yet, you know, we could probably blow up the micro city. <laughs> oh, that's that actually feels kind of odd wanting to blow up your old creations, but I think it would just look so cool. So if you guys want to see me blow up either the old town or the micro city, uh, let me know. Uh, okay, so we got that set up. This has floors, does it not? I really wish this had a staircase in it. Uh, I should probably redo this at some point and put a staircase in it. You know, I'm tempted to do that now. How much? That wouldn't take too long, actually. You know, we're going to stick a staircase in this, and we're going to do legit tower survival. And basically, we're just going to try to escape the tower. I can pre-rig the, uh, the floors to blow up. I have all the floors in segments, so... We'll, uh, we won't completely obliterate it, but we'll come pretty close. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that real quick. Alright, here we go, last section. Uh, I think we're gonna stop here. Because I don't know where the, uh, the game-breaking part is. I don't know at all, so I figured let's stop about right there. That's pretty tall. Uh, it's tall enough to get a full-blown building explosion. Alright, I'm gonna go out and make sure the stairwells are clear, and we should be good to go here. Alright, we're coming up the tower right now. Uh, clearing out the stairwells that I need to open up here. I don't know how this is gonna work. I might have set way too many explosives in here. Uh, so what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have a trail that's gonna lead up to this. I would say let's do it while we're in it, but I think it's just gonna fling us out. So I would like to have... I don't even know if we want to call it a chance. Uh, these things explode so fast that it's just absolutely crazy. And I don't think... I think we're going to obliterate it and blow up the game. Honestly. That's why I didn't make this tower quite as tall as the other tower. Uh, so, let's see. Where is the top? This should be it right here. Alright. It's about... I would say, what? Half? Maybe three quarters? Probably half of the other tower. Alright. So, let's get one of those little trails going here. Uh, we'll lead it up. That's going to be that one there. So we're going to go... Uh, let's do smaller. Actually, let's do the big ones. Let's go boom, boom, boom. This is going to be kind of nerve-wracking seeing this explosion trail come this way. I kind of want to watch it from out here, but 
I don't know. I, I think this is probably gonna be our best bet. Scrap mechanic needs a save state feature. Like, I need to be able to save this map before. I guess I could back up the file and do it again, but... Uh, that looks, uh, oh, that looks like a lot of pain and sadness right there. Okay, let's get the gun out. We are ready to go. Tower survival. So we're going to try the first bit. We're going to be in it, and then maybe we'll do it from the outside too, just to see what the glorious explosion looks like. Oh, uh, I might have stuck way too many canisters in here. All right, here we are. Uh, we are about to do some tower survival and scrap mechanic. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Okay. Go ahead. Vote now. Are you going to see a black screen here in a second? Or do you think this is actually going to work? Uh, uh. uh oh. Wait, what? Uh. Oh, I missed it. Oh, hit it. Oh, boy. Oh, no, no. What? 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 Hold on. Did... This isn't crashed. Hold on. Let's go down here. What just happened? Whoa, I just fell through the map. Oh, boy. Huh? How did that... How did that not actually do that? Uh, how did that not work? Are these not close? Hold on, you know what? Here. We, we really need to test this out, Scrap Mechanic? We can do that. I can test this out. Alright, so... I need you to make connections with the other floors. There we go. Alright. Let's try that again. Dang it, they took out my stairs. <laughs> you know, I thought I added too many, but maybe I added too little. Uh, let's try it again. Uh. All right, here we go. Ooh. Oh, there it goes. Oh, no. <laughs> I probably should have been standing in that. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, it blew up. Half the tower is gone. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, the tower is definitely just a wee bit shorter. All right. That actually didn't crash the game. Hmm. Okay, we can go bigger and better. All right, you know, let's reset it up. We're going to re-rack them here, and I'm going to stick more canisters in this. We're going to have a complete tower annihilation here. You know, I'm pretty sure somebody's going to say that we should do this from the top down. And honestly, with how fast the explosion's going, I think it's literally just going to blow me out of the building. Like, I don't think that that's really an option. But I'm pretty sure a lot of people are thinking like, hey, Komodo, do it from the top and then try to outrun it. But you guys see how fast the explosions are. Like, that is pretty ridiculous. All right, let's light it up here. All right, folks, I got a buttload more of the explosives in here. Uh, this tower's gonna probably crash now. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, boom! All right, get inside. Get inside. Oh! Oh, I can feel it coming. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 that was a mistake. Oh, that was, that was stupid. We should not have done this. What the? What? Huh? I can... Are we in heaven? Where did the explosions... Wait, what? Where are we? We're in a perfectly clean room. Huh? No. No. Did... Hold on. Are you kidding me? We ended up in the other... T it blew us over into the other tower. No way. No freaking way. Hold on. We ended up in the other tower. It shot us from here over to there into the... What the... Oh, where's the building at? Well, that was a dumb question. Oh my. This is the greatest thing since sliced bread. This is all that's left of the tower. At least this is the biggest piece, I think. Uh, scan the horizon. Do I see anything else? No. This is it. I thought that maybe we somehow glitched the game and we ended up, I don't know, like it reset the tower or something. No, it shot us into the other tower. That is the biggest chunk that's left of that. Oh my. I love this scrap mechanic. 
I think we can seriously blow up like the micro city. Ooh, we can blow up the underwater base. I know it'd be kind of cool to do all that, but now the more I think about it, the more excited I get. All right, so we're going to do that one last time, except for I'm not going to be in the tower. I do want to see that from the outside because I imagine that looks absolutely incredible. Like, that is insane. So as I'm going up this, I'm thinking of neat things that you could do. Obviously, you could do a catapult uh, since these things, when they get hit, uh, the impact should set them off. You could also do a bomber. I mean, you could have a system where it shoots one of these, say it's attached to a block, and it drops one of these. You could legitimately bomb stuff. Like, there's a lot of very neat uses for this, besides just blowing up towers and stuff. Uh, I'm actually, yeah, I'm like really stoked right now. Uh, we might get some extra scrap mechanic this week, uh, depending on what you guys want to see more of, because this is pretty insane. I'm really, really digging this. Alright, let's try to get to a safe distance here. And when I say safe, I don't think you're going to be safe at all around this. Alright, and that's looking good there. Alright, so say goodbye to the tower. I kind of want to try that one out, but I don't think we're going to go that big. Here we go. Three, two, one, go! Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh, oh! Look at it slowly eating. Oh, it's flung it through the air. That is awesome. Oh, and there it goes. Oh, and here comes the debris. Wow. That brings a tear to my eye. That is beautiful. Man, I love the smell of destruction in the morning. That is crazy. Bravo, scrap mechanic. Yeah, consider me impressed here. That was. Wow. I don't know, I think I've got one more idea for today, and then we'll have to save the rest for the other videos. Uh, I want to do something that I've been trying to do for a long time in another game. I've been trying to stop this stupid train in Brick Ricks for a long time. Why is this thing laggy? I, I don't even care. We're going to set this thing on the tracks. We're going to set up an explosive charge on the other end. And we're going to finally run this stupid train off the tracks and into the sky. Okay, we just need a big old pile of explosives here. And actually what we're gonna do, we're gonna run some up the side here. That way hopefully we'll continue to derail and push the train off the tracks. There we go, this looks perfectly acceptable. All right, Brick Rick's train, it is time. It's finally time to go away. Oh, this thing is so laggy for some reason. You know, I'm really kind of curious why this train is that laggy. It's not, I guess it's just the amount of carts on it or something. All right, get in. The lag will clear up once it settles. I'll close the door here. Alright, here we go. All five frames. We're about to blow up the Brick Riggs train. Uh, this one might crash. For some reason, this is going to be probably more laggy than the tower explosion. Alright, here we go. Uh oh, this is going to hurt. Uh, boop! Oh. Wait, what? Was that... Was that not enough force? <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna blow up the train. Oh, this thing's so laggy once you get in there. Now it's really good now. Alright, here we go. Brick Rick's train, say goodbye. Uh, here we go. Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, it's so glorious! The train is dead! Oh, that's gonna be really laggy when it hits the ground. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. We did it! That looked incredible. Oh, the frame rate. The frames. <laughs> Ow, it hurts. <laughs> oh, boy, we're probably better in the episode there. But anyways, folks, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Scrap Mechanic. Yes, folks, we finally have more destruction. Of course, we had the spud gun before, but now we've got explosions and we've got the power to do some pretty cool things so let me know down in the comment section below what you want to see next here in scrap mechanic i want to thank you guys for all the love and support and we will see you guys next time in scrap mechanic thank you